Here we are again, getting our crystal set back. So, let's start out with the helmet. Then we're gonna make the body. And we're gonna make a set of legs. Back at it again with the full crystal armor set. So first of all, the crystal armor set up with the Amulet of Anguish. This is what your max hit would be in PvP. 46, everyone knows that. And with Void, it's still able to hit a 45, so this might be the way to go in PvP if you want to do a low risk setup. Let's take a look at the max hit on task with a Slayer Helmet. 51. Now let's try the crystal setup with a Solve Amulet. Nobody's actually put this in a video. 52, we actually gained a max hit. And let's test the Void setup with the Solve Amulet. And yeah, that's pretty weird. Somehow it's still 52. However, I don't think there'd ever be a situation where this setup would be better than the Crystal setup. This video was mainly meant to be about the PVM aspect, but I took it to Clan Wars because I didn't exactly want to risk Ranger Boots and an Anguish and all that. Probably like over 100 mil if I took it to PvP. But I did want to see what kind of DPS we were getting when we had actual max gear. I didn't want to have to show too much Clan Wars content, but to summarize it, this bow is really good DPS on players but you're definitely going to want to follow up KO weapon. Okay, it's time to test this at Zulra now. We got a bit of a unique setup here. For our special attack, we're going to be using Dragon Knives with a Twisted Buckler, and they recently just buffed the Twisted Buckler to have 10 range strength bonus. So if I were to take a guess, this is probably the best DPS spec of anything you can use at Zulra. If we get a blue phase, we're going to spec it. We're hitting pretty good, too. Okay... Pretty okay specs. Pretty fast kill so far even too. It definitely seemed like we were hitting okay, but look at the amount of damage I took. I hit amazing, but I just ate half an inventory of food. And we get a 217, and from here on out it doesn't get much better. It's actually quite inferior to the old blowpipe. There definitely is a reliable amount of consistency, but I don't even think it's possible to set a new world record at Zulra anymore. And here's a kill with the addition of a T-Bow, which kind of defeats the purpose, and we actually managed to get a pretty good time, 104. But how much of that was the T-Bow's work? So as promised by the thumbnail, we took it to Armadale on task. This is how it went. I don't think I hit anything. The problem with this is most places where it seems like it outperforms a blowpipe is best suited for a Tebow anyway. By the way guys, I'm going to be giving away 10 mil to one lucky winner. All I want you to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below with your RSN, and good luck. What the hell, now it's like really good all of a sudden. Wow. I'm actually hitting really good now all of a sudden. I don't know though, it's hitting pretty well. Wow, is this the, like the new meta for Armadillo or something? Jeez. New meta and you haven't even gotten a kill yet. You're just like <laughs> on roids or something, dude. <laughs> Have I not gotten a single kill? Okay, there's one. Here's a full kill and it was definitely a really quick kill. But as you can see, it still struggles to beat a T-Bow off task. Maybe my buddy's getting really lucky and it's just a fluke, but he's using a T-Bow and he's getting most of the kills off task. And before somebody says in the comments, you're wrong. Well, I haven't actually ran it through a DPS calculator yet because the calculator that I use is a couple years out of date and it doesn't actually include the new bow. But if I were to take a guess based on the small sample size I have, I would say the T-Bow is definitely noticeably better. Hey, LRE. Wow. Oh, I thought you were gonna. That was actually your suffering. Oh, f f f what is going on, bro? Uh, you weren't praying. <laughs> what? Okay. Game over. <laughs> you didn't have prayer on. Well, I guess dying's not so bad, because I came back with a new improved twisted buckler and chin choppas, and you can't even touch the DPS. Nothing beats this. We're gonna try this at Vorkath. We're gonna send it with a seven way switch. Kind of overkill, but you know what? We want to see the max potential. Hit big specs, please. Big specs, big specs. Okay, that's nice, nice. Okay, that's unfortunate. Missed my legs, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how to wooks walk it with this setup. I don't think many people do. Could 
spend a little time to figure it out, but you know what? Pretty new to this setup. Alright, so far pretty mediocre. And not right now. That was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Comboing, okay. Back to the acid phase. Alright. Hitting like a truck. Hitting like a beast. That was a max hit. Literal max hit. Can we get it before the next phase? Oh, that's unfortunate. There should be a kill right there. Oh, no. Maybe not. That should be a kill. It wasn't the quickest kill. But I think we have uh, room for improvement. Definitely. Here it is. A little bit better than the last kill, I guess. Okay, we got a decent loot there. Decent time as well, I guess. So the next thing I did is I went to TOB, brought along a few friends. We started a story mode TOB, and my intention is to basically range everything I possibly can and see how it goes. In story mode, you don't actually have to freeze the crabs, you can just out DPS the main boss. Or you can choose to kill a couple of the crabs, whatever works better for you. If I were to judge how this setup performed here, I would definitely say it's inferior to a scythe, and it may even be worse than a post-nerf blowpipe. But I can't say for sure, it's just how it feels to me. I would sort of call it a fail here. And the next room was obviously blow, but I decided to go with melee on this one. For the second room of TOB, you're not going to really use it for the majority of the fight, just the final boss. Because you definitely want to prioritize a blowpipe for killing the smaller creatures. As far as how this performs on the main boss, it's just kind of mediocre, doesn't really add much to the game. And once again, this isn't worth bringing the setup for. And the next boss up is Mr. Soda Keg, and it didn't perform so well here. And the next boss up is Zarpus, and I would have to say this is probably the most useful one to use it on. The DPS definitely seemed to be outdoing a blowpipe, and the extra range didn't hurt. And here we are on the final boss, and here I am trying to make use of the range as much as possible. And I'm doing a little boss kiting. So even though we lost a couple of our team members, we still managed to take it out with the two of us remaining with pretty low supplies, so I would not recommend this in a normal TOB. But keep in mind, I'm not super experienced in TOB, so I may have made a few mistakes here and there. I'm really not sure if anyone's going to be using this setup in TOB. Let me know in the comments. That's not even that bad. Let's try this on a Kelphite Queen task. Oh, first hit off the bat. Wow. Okay. Insane. Are you joking? What? Bro. Is that a fluke or is that normal? This is ridiculous. Did I just get really good RNG? Is that normal? Are you joking? That's ridiculous. That was the fastest kill I've ever had, just about. I think we kind of got really good RNG for the first kill. Overall, it works pretty good here. The first trip, we ended up with three and a half kills, which is pretty good by some people's standards. But I definitely still prefer to use a Sanguinesti staff. Well, hope you guys liked the video. I'll be looking forward to seeing your comments. Let me know what you think of the bow. Let me know what kind of DPS calculator you've used, if you actually have one that works. And stay tuned in, because I know a lot of you guys are probably looking forward to the next episode of Get Hammered. Which is my low HP free-to-play Warhammer Pure. We set a goal of 97 strength, and we're 475k away from 95 currently. So keep in mind, I didn't give this up. It just takes painstakingly long to train this account. Later, guys. I'll see you in the next one.